With many Americans behind on their rent during the pandemic, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is extending an order aimed at preventing evictions. The temporary ban now runs through the end of June. New at 10, Stephanie Haynes talks to a renter breathing a sigh of relief tonight. Kevin Turple got furloughed from his sports medicine job thanks to the pandemic, and he says if it weren't for the eviction moratorium, he thinks he'd be out of his home. You're not working full time. You're not making your money that you had made, and it gets tough to pay your rent. I was coming down to the wire. Colleen Foley with Legal Aid Society says she appreciates the extension. We've been trying to be diligent in notifying people that they might be eligible for the protections, but nonetheless, evictions continue every week. Data from Milwaukee County shows there have been more than 530 eviction filings in the month of March alone. Last week, more than 150 filings. Since January, there have been between 100 and 200 filings each week. Foley says that's way down from last summer. Data also shows there were fewer eviction filings in 2020 compared to 2018 and 2019. You have to qualify for the moratorium as it was before, and you have to try to at least pay some rent. That can really help landlords who are also struggling during this time. There are some that have gone a long time, you know, without without rent, and they've got mortgages, they've got their other expenses to pay, and uh, they're, they're having a tough time. He's the legal counsel for the Apartment Association of Southeastern Wisconsin. He says the group is collaborating with the Rental Housing Resource Center, which is a network of housing assistance programs for Milwaukee. We just really urged our landlords to just be patient and to try to work with work with tenants. And Kevin says he appreciates that. Now he's worried about how he's going to renew his lease. In this environment, are you going to find a new place, especially when you've exhausted over half of your unemployment benefits and you're going to move in and you're already relying on the RAP program? In Milwaukee, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News. All right, to give you some perspective, we looked into eviction filings in cities similar to the size of Milwaukee. In Columbus, Ohio, there have been more than 12,000 evictions filed since March 15th. We went to Kansas City, Missouri, where there we found 3,500. The Milwaukee area, just over 7,800. By comparison, New York City had more than 43,000 evictions filed.